Fury here. Yay, yes, it's me. I know, I feel so special. Now, nah, but uh, anyway, we are here to do story time. My life has been very, very interesting. Like, <laughs> very interesting since the day that I was born. I know, you can't believe it. I can't either. But yeah, um, you all know I have short-term memory loss. We all know that. So I had to text my brother and ask him to remind me of these times, right? I also asked my best friend for a story. I keep looking down because I'm looking at my phone to get those stories. But, yes, and he came through with a few stories, okay? Y'all don't laugh at me and don't think I'm crazy. But your girl done done some crazy stuff. My camera keeps shaking because I didn't <laughs> yeah. And by the way, if you like this makeup look, this look will be up Saturday. I love it. It's beautiful. I like it. I keep looking at the computer. But yeah, I like it. Anyways, so, hmm, he's, but I'm not going to tell you what he's saying. Let me remind myself. So, we were at Walmart one day, and I guess I was very, very tired, okay? And so I decided to fall asleep in the car. I was about eight or nine, somewhere around that age. We were living in Weston at the time, in St. Louis, Missouri. And we made it home. They woke me up to come into the house. Yes, woke me up and told me to come to the house. I went into the house and I laid on the couch. And I guess I was there for probably a few minutes or so. And out of nowhere, Eureka just decided to wander off into outdoors. And I went back outside and got back into the car. Okay? At this time... Everybody was looking for me around the house. They could not find me. They looked in the closets, the bathroom, all the rooms. They looked in the basement, and Eureka was nowhere to be found. Can you guess where I was at? i give you some time. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'll tell you now. I was in the back seat of our SUV outside the house. Yes, I went back get into the car and went back to sleep. I was crazy. I know. You don't got to tell me. I know. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Whew. So that's one crazy story that I have. Another crazy story that I got is we were, this was after dinner, and I fell asleep again. Yes, your girl fell asleep again. I can never stay awake as it seems, right? So this time... We just had not eaten dinner. I went into the dining room, not into the dining room, into the living room and fell asleep. I know, I fell asleep again, right? Except this time, we were living in the city in St. Louis, Missouri. And what happened is they woke me up. I was supposed to go upstairs to my room but I jumped up and said I was late for school. So I started getting dressed for school. And guess who let me? My mom. She let me get up. She let me get dressed. She allowed me to sit on the couch and wait for the bus. For like 10 minutes. Then she came to the room. She said, girl, it's nighttime. It's still the same day. I was like, huh? I had a crazy look on my face and she was like, yeah. I always knew something was wrong with you. Yeah, so that's another sleepy story that I've dealt with. This girl over here, my daughter, she has done the same thing. I've let her sleep. And she would wake up. No, she woke up before. I was like, I'm late for school. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes, she has. And I allowed her to get dressed also. Yeah. Mm. 
like mother, like daughter, right? Yeah. So we both done that. So that's two of the stories you see me. He had more. Just wait. He had more. Just wait. This is about me and my best friend. Y'all, this is funny. So, this time, me and her was outside exercising. I don't need a phone for this one. We were outside exercising. So, we lived in Jenny's, Missouri this time. And they had, like, hills, like, everywhere. So, we used to walk up and down the hills, you know, get our exercise in for the day. And this particular time, we walked past the high school. We went around, went down Jenny Station Road. Then we started... We came back up McLaurin and so walking up McLaurin to, to go back to my house. You get out of my video now, girl. <laughs> At this time, we, we was like uh, two blocks away from my house and we saw a dog. Now, this was not any dog. This is a pit bull. We all know that pit bulls can be loving, but a lot of people claim them as very, very vicious dogs. And so I told her, which is what I learned from my brothers, if you see a dog, just stand still. Everything just shook. Just stand still, you know? Be still. Don't move a limb. Right? So we was like this. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Let me change that. I was like this. She saw the dog, and she just took off running. And I was like, Dee Dee! Dee Dee, come back! And I... <laughs> It was hilarious. And so the dog came up to me and he started smelling me, you know, jumped up on me and all that stuff. And I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a nice dog because I took, I grabbed him and I took him back to his house. I let his owner know he got out and all that stuff, you know. But I went back to the house and I was like, girl, you crazy. She said, what you mean? I was like, you're not supposed to run away from a dog. Plain and simple. I was just like, girl, like, I'm not understanding you at all. That was so freaking funny. And we just, we still laugh about it today. Like, that was just hilarious. She, <sighs> think about it, she loved, she loved pit bulls. She had a pit bull just like every year of her life. And she, she was scared of it. And she ran. She ran. And she left little old me. To be dog food. At least so I thought. Dogs turned out to be pretty nice though. So yeah. Yes, but you got some stories you think mommy should tell? Hmm? No. <laughs> so yeah. Um... That was like, what, three, maybe four stories? I can't count right now. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video unless something else comes back to mind. Oh, I got one more. One more. Now, at this time, I was pregnant with this little child. I was like seven months pregnant. And it's not, it's not a funny story. But I was pregnant with her. And I was driving a white Grand Am GT. Now, y'all know those cars are pretty fast. Which, nowadays, I don't really see a lot of them. I really don't. But they're pretty fast cars. And so, I'm driving down Martin Luther King. If you don't live in St. Louis, that's a two-lane street. Or at least it was a two-lane street. And I'm, so, I'm just driving down Martin Luther King, mad at my own business. And it's truck. Decide he want to hurry up and pull, you know, go past me and go into my lane. So the court tried to come, to, or the truck tried to come to my lane, right? And so this my car. No, this, this the truck. This my car. So I'm just driving down the street. And he, he, um, well, I slow down and let him over, right? But he didn't want that. So I... Sped up to try to get past him. He didn't want that either. So, I'm like right here to his truck. And he hops over. Now, you know, we like this, right? He hops over. He ended up, the back of his truck hit the front of my car. Pushed me into the big metal pole that be on the side of the road. 
Now, it was me and my husband in the car. Both airbags deployed. My axle was like this. My light, my headlight was down the street. And um, I jumped out the car. Like, my adrenaline rushing. Remind, let me remind you, I'm seven months pregnant. And I just jumped out the car like I wasn't pregnant. And so, I jumped out. My husband thought I flew out the window. Even though the window wasn't broken. But he thought I flew out the window. And so, he get out looking for me. And I'm just like, my daddy gonna kill me. My daddy gonna kill me. He was like, you are pregnant. Worry about the car. I mean, worry about yourself and not this car, right? But all I think about is my daddy gonna kill me. Because we was going to get insurance when I picked him up. So, he didn't have no insurance for the car. And we don't know who called the police, but somebody called the police. The police got there. My husband talked to the police. He's like, you need to tell her to sit down. He's like, why? He's like, she's seven months pregnant. And she just got to a car accident. Tell her to sit down. Now me, I didn't want to sit down because I was too worried about what was going on. But I sat down anyway, okay? So I'm just sitting on the side of the road, my hands crossed. Like, okay, what's going to happen? <sighs> Police officer called the ambulance. I didn't want to go in the ambulance, but they made me go anyway. So I go in the ambulance. I get to the hospital. Of course, I'm in the triage room. And the police officer just talking to me. He's like, well, did you all have insurance? And we're like, well, no, we were going to get insurance when I picked up my dad. And um, he was like, well, it's okay. We're not going to write you a ticket or anything. He said, so don't worry about that. He said, but can you describe the truck that hit you? I said, yeah, it was a, it was a black truck. A Silverado, and um, you know, I didn't. They have never, never found this person or this truck that hit us. Never, never. This girl now is ten years old, about to be eleven, and we still don't know who hit us. But the thing that made me so freaking mad is. My dad. My dad made me mad. I forgot I have forgiven him now, but he made me so mad. Cause the first thing he said when he came into the emergency room was, Where's my car? I'm like, your daughter is here, seven months pregnant, laying in the bed in a triage room, and you worried about a car? A car. What if I wasn't, what, what if I was hurt or something? Like, really, what, what if I was hurt? You worried about a freaking car right now. And so that, that, that made me so mad. I was so mad at him for a long time. And I was like, you really, you really mad about a car. But I'm here, laying in this bed, pregnant with your granddaughter. Like, Really? But like I said, now I, f I have forgiven him. We all cool. We bond. We good. Okay? We good. So don't cover him in my comments. But yeah, that was a crazy story. Crazy story. But again, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I have nothing else to tell you all at the moment. Now, I'm pretty sure I'll have more story times to come. But at this moment, I done told y'all three or four. And... I think, I think we good. I did, I did good on time. But uh, <laughs> don't forget to check out my friend's website, Spend the Night. She sells lingerie, makeup bags, house shoes, the onesies that us girls like, and a few other things. I'm not, I can't really remember off the top of my head. Excuse me. She sells a few other things. I will have her link down below. And she gave you all a coupon code to use until February 14th that will give you 10% off on your whole purchase. So go check her out. Check her website out. And I hope you all are able to find something that you like. And I will talk to you guys Wednesday at Advice and Makeup Wednesday. And don't forget to send in your advice suggestions here to my email so I can put you all into my videos. Your name is not going to be announced. I promised you all that when I first started this series. 
and it's going to remain that way now unless you would like your name to be told. So yeah. So I'll talk to you guys Wednesday. Talk to you later. Bye.